Hey guys, um, I ended up going on a pretty weird journey last night on the internet. Um, and this all started just because I was looking at the ingredients on a package of gummies. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, because when you, when you get to the end of this video, if you make it that far, you're going to see that, <laughs> what the hell? All because of some ingredients on the pack of some gummies. Um, anyways, I was looking up some of the ingredients, sorbitol being one of them, which is, it metabolizes slowly. It's horrible for the body. Uh, it turns out that, uh, I mean, it is naturally occurring. I'm talking about the chemical, chemical version, the man-made version. You're going to have a little bit, uh, you have an increased risk of GI necrosis, which is basically dead flesh in your stomach. Um, and sorbitol is sometimes used as a sweetener in foods that are not identified as dietary items, which just so happen to be the case on these gummies. They're not sugar free. And then we get down to here, and it says too much sorbitol trapped in the retinas, uh, the cells, lenses, and the Schwann cells, and that uh, leads to uh, damage of these cells. It just so happens that the Schwann cells are located in the brain and uh, in between the neurons. So, yeah, this is one thing you guys need to stay away from. But, uh, yeah, another ingredient that I was looking up uh, was titanium dioxide. And this one is the kicker because it's used in just about everything. Um, paint, sunscreen, food coloring. So you're eating it, you're putting it on your body. Um, so certain toothpaste have it in it, certain um, mouthwash has it in it. It's basically everywhere. It's almost unavoidable. Um, when you get down uh, to the MSDS, it doesn't look that bad, but I actually went and looked at the actual MSDS. Potential acute health effects, slightly hazardous in case of skin contact. There you have your makeup and your um, sunscreen eye contact which does happen when you get the spray sunscreen and certain sunscreens uh, just sweat uh, mixing in with the sunscreen it gets into your eyes ingestion uh, of course it's in food all over the place and the last thing is inhalation which does occur uh, when you spray the sunscreen um, in your face not only does it occur to you but the people around you when the winds blowing so I ended up looking uh, further into this and one of the companies who makes this uh, they make a lot of different things but one of the things that they do make is titanium dioxide is Kronos look at that so and for those of you who don't know uh, Kronos um, can refer to a Kronos the Titan, uh, the father of Zeus, and Kronos just so happens to be Saturn. They say all roads lead to Rome, but I think they all lead to Saturn. Uh, back to the makers of this, they are located in, excuse me if I'm not pronouncing this right, Levers, Lever, Leverkusen, Leverkusen, Germany? Leverkusen, I guess. Uh, anyways, I went and looked up uh, what I typed in the search bar was Nazi Leverkusen, and I'm going to show you that. And the first company that pops up is Bayer. So I did a little research on Bayer, and it turns out <laughs> uh, we're all looking at Monsanto, but it turns out Bayer has a huge hand in this as well. Um, uh, they uh, ended up having to settle $750 million because of a biotech rice uh, that they uh, basically engineered. There it is, biotech rice. So we're looking at Monsanto and nobody's looking at Bayer. Uh, this is why I say you got to do your own research because there's magicians over here who are making you look over here when they're working for over here. Um, 
anyways, like I said, I just typed in Nazi Leverkusen and ended up with Bayer. And they have been known to buy seed companies. And Nunhems, the vegetable seed business of Bayer Crop Science, operates under the brand name Nunhems. Which they ended up acquiring. And look at how look at how widespread this is. This is another multinational company, just like Monsanto. Um, so I went into this further, and uh, I went and looked up their own website, and I've watched their own videos, and they're all very Nazi-oriented. They talk about perfect genetics, and uh, it's just it's insane. Um, uh, from April 2014 onwards, Nunhems will change its visual identity and will be marketed as Bayer Crop Science, brand for vegetable seeds. The corresponding business unit will be called Bayer Crop Science Vegetable Seeds. This specialized business unit will be responsible for all vegetable seeds activities worldwide, from research to after sales. Well, that's pretty creepy. Now, what we have here is the Sun Cross. I uh, thought I would explain the symbolism of Bayer, which was used by a lot of uh, people throughout history. Uh, it predates a lot of cultures, a lot of symbols that we are given. Um, that should look very familiar to you. I'm not here to uh, criticize anybody or to make them feel like I'm attacking their religion. I'm just simply pointing things out uh, that this has been used long before and it was a symbol of the neo-Nazi party. They used the Sun Cross just so happens that the Bayer logo is exactly that the Sun Cross so and as I said it uh, it's used by the neo-nazis so when I looked up uh, Nazi Leverkusen it actually makes sense that this would pop up first <sighs> So, I got all that from a package of gummies. Thanks for listening, guys.